China has removed outspoken Foreign Minister Chin Gang from office. Chin, seen in these pictures here with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken earlier this year, had been absent from public duties for more than a month. In an announcement on Tuesday evening, Chinese state media said he has been replaced with his predecessor, Wang Yi, but gave no reason for Chin's removal. For more on this breaking story, I'm now joined uh, from Beijing by the journalist Fabian Kretschmer. Fabian, what more can you tell us? Yeah, Chin Gang has not been seen in public since uh, the 25th of June, so he's been missing uh, for more than a month now. And this was really a very fascinating uh, story to develop because in the beginning, the foreign ministry basically explained that uh, Chin is, is sick, that there were some health reasons, and um, that's why he couldn't show up for some important foreign minister's meeting. I mean, he was, was really missing out on very important appointments. But then they changed their stance at the daily press conference of the foreign ministry. They would just simply say, we cannot provide any information information and um, so the rumors here started um, uh, popping up and uh, the fascinating thing was that um, they were not all censored here in China as usually would be the case and um, the most prominent rumor was actually that um, Ching Gang had an extra martial affair with a TV reporter in Hong Kong and this news even made it uh, at least in Taiwan um, uh, yeah, to the breaking news to the uh, TV news but nothing was confirmed and we don't know why Ching Gang was replaced but today it is official that he was removed from his post and that is a very, very, uh, yeah, a, a very extraordinary move. I mean, Ching Gang was seen as a rising star within the apparatus. He's 57 years old. That is relatively young for the post that he was holding until today. And um, also he was seen as a protege of Xi Jinping. And uh, we don't know exactly why he was removed, but that is definitely probably the biggest um, political scandal um, of the recent years here in Beijing. Now, Chin was a figurehead for China's increasingly aggressive foreign policy. Could this uh, also represent a shift in tone from Beijing? I don't think so. I mean, Ching Gang was both very talented in playing the wolf warrior. I mean, having a very aggressive, uh, confrontational style and uh, being very nationalistic. But he could also be a charming diplomat and um, basically build bridges. I mean, he was actually quite talented in both ways. And uh, his predecessor, who will now be the foreign minister again, Wang Yi, I think he's even the bigger wolf warrior, the, the more confrontational um, uh, diplomat, so to speak. Uh, I don't expect like a general shift in, in, in rhetoric. And I think while China is actually quite concerned about the relationship, especially towards U.S., and there were some slight improvements re recently, I think the bigger picture will not change. And I think the more nationalistic tone here also in Beijing will not change. Fabian Kretschmer there in Beijing. Thank you very much.